So that I've got um, oil in the oil compartment of the tank which holds the fuel and the oil. And what I'm going to do next, I've got the pipe feeding the oil pump disconnected, the mechanical oil pump at least. There's a hand oil pump there for priming the crankcase and also to give a couple of extra shots of oil if you're labouring hard up a hill or something you can unscrew that and give a couple of pumps to give some extra oil on top of what the mechanical pump will feed. Um, so I'm just going to open the tap now. Oh, straight away we've got oil there so I'll connect, connect that up. So we've got oil going into the oil pump now, straight away. And I've also got the top, the lid of the oil pump removed, just for peace of mind. I can press the kickstarter and hopefully see that the oil pump is actually moving. It's very, very slow. It'll take a good number of turns of the engine give one revolution of the pump shaft, but it's moving, it's doing its job. And what I'm probably going to do next is just get the oil can and squirt a few drops of oil into there because it's very dry in there and then I'll put the lid back on and I can hopefully rest assured that the oil pump will be doing its job and I'll uh, probably give about 20 or 30 pumps of this hand pump just to pump some oil into the engine via another pipe that comes out the bottom of it here. And whether we can see that comes down in front of the cylinder and it puts oil in to the timing chest and then from the timing chest it will drain into the crankcase and the flywheels will pick it up and splash it around. And um, this pump is obviously the main feed You've got your tap there and your pipe coming down to that and that will feed the engine via the timing side main bearing and into the big end which will probably be a roller big end I would imagine going by the slightly later 1930 Model K engine that I totally stripped and rebuilt. Uh, I'll get the spark plugs back into the cylinders as well now because I'm happy that the timing is at least there or thereabouts and should be close enough to get the engine to start, subject to me putting fuel in the tank and everything being well with the carburetor. I'm going to just assume that the carburetor and everything will be okay and um, I'll uh, obviously give that any attention it might need should I feel the need arises, but I'm going to put fuel in a tank, put the spark plugs back in, prime the engine oil. And I'm going to get up there and grip my teeth, obviously put the lid back on the oil pump as well. And we'll have a few kicks and see what if anything happens.